6 News. Some of the viewing area pounded with snow this weekend. How things are looking the day after. It's nicknamed the Cool Guard 3000, but the family of the guy it was first used on calls it a miracle maker. Wait until you see what it does. I'm Mike McKnight. Why are taxpayers spending just under $640 a foot? A six-year side investigation. Big Sue talks about his big win today. I'm Ross Sternstrom. I'll have that story later in sports. It's cold now. We could be looking at temperatures below zero. I'll have the latest in my hour-by-hour -hour forecast. And reaching out to the visually impaired to brighten the holiday season. 10 at 10 starts now. Live from WOWT Studios, 10 minutes of non-stop news. The day's top stories. And Jim Flowers' hour-by-hour -hour forecast to plan your day. All before the first commercial. The Heartland's most watched newscast. Channel 6 News, 10 at 10. A new tool is being used in the medical battle against cardiac arrest, and tonight we see just how useful it is through one man's experience. He is definitely all smiles, the first patient to get the treatment. As Brian Mastry explains, it can greatly improve one's chances of survival. I had to ask my wife exactly what happened, because I don't remember any of it. Ten days ago, Al Barton couldn't sit up in bed. Doctors put him in a medically induced coma after he went into cardiac arrest at work. A week ago Monday he was dead, and now he's alive and going home in a week and a half. And if it would have been the day before? He wouldn't have made it. Yeah. No, he wouldn't be here. And they still or if he was, he would have been brain dead. Methodist Hospital had this new piece of equipment that wasn't supposed to be available for a few hours. Doctors needed special clearance to use it, and they got it. I like the cold a little better than I do the heat and humidity. Good thing, too, because of the intravascular therapeutic temperature management device, nicknamed CoolGuard 3000. A catheter is inserted in the groin, and a cooling coil helps gradually lower the body temperature. His dropped from 98.6 to 91 degrees as a way to slow his metabolism and prevent any more damage to his heart and brain. As a person is cooling down, they start to shiver. Um, which then generates more metabolism. So uh, in most cases, in, in uh, Al's case, what we did was paralyze him or give him a paralytic so he wasn't shivering. Al Barton spent four days in a coma. After sort of being frozen and given a defibrillator, he's going home. Are you an ice fisherman? No, but I may take it up. The Omaha man hadn't seen the machine his family calls a miracle maker until this moment. Pretty awesome oh, no, machine. No. Compared to the old methods of ice packs, studies have shown the use of the new technology can boost survival rates from 10% in the first month to 60%. He had a very good outcome with this, extremely, extremely good outcome. And as I told him today, I said uh, either God has a different plan for him or God wasn't ready and the devil wouldn't take him. His fondness for cold that was the first one. may have prepared Al Barton as the perfect candidate. Oh, I usually have some uh, long, ugly boots on, but shorts, T-shirt. To get the mail? To get the in mail, the, the paper. Winter. Yeah. In the snow. In the snow. I'm only going to be out there a couple of minutes. Uh, you know, white ball bundle up and then have to unbundle, and you just be out there two or three minutes. From now on, perhaps he'll be reminded of what happened here every time he gets the mail this winter. With photographer Nathan Jank, Brian Mastry, Channel 6 News. Not everyone who goes into congestive heart failure outside of a hospital is a candidate for the machine. In Al's case, several things all came together. When he collapsed at the car dealer, he was given chest compressions right away, followed by mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. The dealer also had oxygen on hand. All of this done before paramedics arrived, greatly improved his chances of success with the Cool Guard 3000. Methodist officials expect that they will use this technology between 12 and 20 times a year.